A-U. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my Boo Papa T's channel. Turn on the bell notification and never miss an upload? Yeah, man. Enjoy the video. What's up? Papa up in the house, yeah, man. So I'm just giving y'all a little idea of where I'm at. I'm still assembling pieces together. The whole entire box is like three layers, except for the top and the bottom. I've got my screw holes and uh, filled in. They're all symmetrical, so we get even squeeze of glue on everything. Ah, excuse me, I, I got a lot of sawdust in my nose. So y'all have to forgive me for all the sniffing that you're going to hear in this video. So this is basically a countersink bit. I use an inch and a quarter screws. They'll kind of bite into the next wood without going all the way through with the countersink. You got to kind of barely tap it. Um, kind of give it a little bit of an indention. So whenever you put the glue down and spread the glue out on this piece right here that it's going on, everything is pretty much um, solidified together. Now, you get a little bit of glue squeeze out on the edges. I recommend wetting up a wet tie uh, rag. And after you're done with everything, after you've you know, screwed everything down, wipe that crap off. Cause it is really hard to get it off after the fact. I don't say, oh, I'm gonna sand it down. Cause what are you doing? You're sanding down your wood and your size and everything's gonna be uneven. That's the professionalism for what you pay for whenever you go to a shop or get somebody like myself to build your box. I don't take shortcuts. I don't expect anybody out there that's charging people to um, build boxes to take shortcuts. Th this is what you pay for, professionalism, okay? Because you get some people that are just, eh, you're not, you're not, I mean, it's okay, but you're wasting money, number one, with materials, and you just don't need that, right? This piece up here is a six inch gap. Um, one inch off, off of the edge. One inch off of the edge gives it enough pressure to squeeze this down, squeeze the glue out, okay? Now I got the baffle done, not all the way done, but this is two sides. This is two layers. And the way I did this, I made an outer ring. That way when I'm putting my speaker in, it's gonna line up right here. And then I'll be able to see the outer ring. Now, if I see my speaker, like, get on this, that means I'm over too far. So I gotta make sure this part is covered up. So I had to scoot the truck out a little bit and put my uh, center console back in. So I can see how much room I have between that and where the uh, boss is gonna sit in relation to this part right here i want to scoot it all the way back to about right there so the box will come up right there and then forward i think i'm actually going to gain a little bit of um seat you know right there i think i am i'm just kind of excited about that so what extra i have um from wherever the box sits i'm going to trim that off and get that backward that's the reason why these are these are as long as they are Cause this goes all the way almost to right there, which I know that's not right. I just want to get it long enough to whenever I sit my um, piece down, you know, the bottom down, then I'll be able to determine where that goes. I'm not gonna fool with that front part right here. I'm gonna just put the headliner back on. I think I'll, I know in my mind, I'll like it a little much better with the headliner on. I've always liked the factory look. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Got to run to the junkyard tomorrow um, when it's a better day and it's not all muddy outside. But that's about it. That's all I got going on. Um, even though you're watching this video right now, <laughs> I'm a lot farther in the process. The next video you see, uh, you might see a little something. Don't forget to hit that comment, like, subscribe, and shoot, man. That's it. Peace out. Hey, you. Put a comment down below and let Papa T know what you would like to see next. We look forward to seeing your input. Yeah, man, that's it. Peace out.